Thanks to Wendigo Tea for their support. They're keeping each episode steeped in mystery and value. WendigoTea.com. Your daily game plan for success. It's Sacks in the Morning. Steve Sacks. Hi, Steve Sachs here with Sachs in the Morning, and today is Wednesday, April the 5th. Baseball is here, and that is extremely exciting for me. I love this time of year. And also this week, I'm talking about some inspirational baseball stories, and today's story is about making a change. And speaking of making a change, how about take a break from your morning coffee and try some morning tea? Not a tea person, you say? Well, that is exactly what Wendigo Tea is setting out to change. These aren't your grandma's stale tea bags. This is the highest quality loose leaf tea you can find. And the nuance of flavors is incredible. I know you'll find a tea that you love and you'll have a great time doing it because Wendigo teas all have the hilarious and creative descriptions of each tea, which are all named after mythical beasts. So go to WendigoTea.com and use a promo code of SAX, S-A-X, at checkout to save 15% on your purchase. So on Monday, we talked about Tommy John. On Tuesday, we talked about Jose Rijo. And today's story is like the other two this week. It's all about never giving up, but it also includes a drastic change that most players would never, ever consider possible. Now, Rick Ankiel came up with the Cardinals and took the major leagues by storm as a top pitching prospect, winning 11 games at the age of just 20 and finished second in the Rookie of the Year balloting in 2000. But in Game 2 of the National League Division Series, Ankiel struggled to control his pitches, throwing five wild pitches and facing just eight batters before being removed. His nightmare continued into the next start in Game 2 of the Championship Series where he threw just 20 pitches, five of which went past the catcher before being taken out of the game. His inability to throw strikes continued into the next season, and he was demoted to AAA where things even got worse than that. He walked 17 batters in four innings and threw 12 wild pitches. He was sent all the way down to rookie ball, but it was there that he occasionally would hit as a designated hitter. After several more years of struggling with control and injuries, he made it back to the big leagues, but only had limited success out of the bullpen. And in the offseason in 2005, he decided he would switch to becoming an outfielder. So in 2006, he impressed scouts with his fielding, but ended up needing knee surgery, which ended his season. He came back to the Cardinals spring training in 2007 and was good enough to start in AAA, where he played very well, hitting 32 home runs and making many spectacular plays in the outfield. So he was called up in August of that year, and he hit 11 homers in the final two months of the Major League season. And the next year, he hit 264 with 25 home runs. That would be Ankiel's best season as a hitter, but he continued on and played parts of seven seasons as a major league hitter and outfielder. So what can you take out of this story? This is a guy that was an absolute phenom at the age of 20, and he had spent his whole life pitching. And then after losing his ability and confidence to throwing the ball where he wanted to and having an embarrassing and gut-wrenching performance twice on the biggest stage, he had the courage to try something new. He gave up on the direction that had always seemed very clear to him in his life, and he worked hard at something new and found great success. I can tell you from my own personal experience, I went through kind of the same thing. Went, they call it the yips, uh, the inability to throw the ball where you want it, whatever. Whatever. And you get so many suggestions from 50 million people and all of that problem that you had. I mean, you go to bed with this thing, you wake up with it, you're at the dinner table with it. It follows you around everywhere you go. When you're out there just throwing the ball wildly and you can't control it, it is the most lonesome feeling in the world. You can't even put it into words. It's so embarrassing and heart-wrenching, disgusting. You wind up hating yourself. There's just so many depths of this thing. It's awful. I know exactly what this guy went through. So let me tell you something. If you're stuck and if you're still doing something that you don't enjoy simply because it's what you've always done or what you've been doing forever, take a page out of the Rick Ankiel book and have the courage to start over and try something new. And that 
is my short for today. If you like what you heard, give us a positive review, subscribe, and share. Also, remember that the Sacks in the Morning swag is now available on my Instagram site. Go to Sacks in the Morning underscore podcast. You'll see it right there on the Instagram and just hit the link. Everything's there mugs, hats, tumblers, you name it. Take advantage of it.